Let's do another puzzle set. <clears throat> we have a rook versus bishop game. So I can give a check. Attacks my rook. I take the, um, the bishop with the rook. Takes my bishop. And then there is no way to survive <laughs> this game. Mm -hmm. mm. What else can I do? I mean... Of course, check with the bishop is very natural, but but maybe that's not a way to go. Check with the bishop, uh, go and place king c3. I take uh, f2 bishop with the rook and takes my bishop with bishop or with the rook, no, uh, with the king. It doesn't matter with what. So maybe that's not a way to go. What if I attack the bishop? Yes, that's the way to go. I attack the white escort bishop with my rook. Has to move the bishop. Really? Has to? Why not simply attacking my bishop? Because if it attacks my bishop, I give a check and then and then what? Okay, I think there is nothing but just to do that. Let's do it. Fortunately, it didn't attack my bishop. Otherwise, I didn't know what to do. We will check it with analysis board. So this is a check. And... And how to win the bishop, say check with the rook. If goes away, take the bishop. If goes behind the bishop, pin it and win it. What I didn't understand is this one. Let me show you. After this move, why he didn't go there? I take... Ah, uh, if he takes, then this, there is this pin. I didn't see that guy. Guys, <laughs> sometimes you should play by instincts. So, um, I can take the knight and then push the pawn. Or I can push the pawn right away. I think push the pawn right away is not a bad idea. I push, takes my bishop, I take the knight. No, with bishop takes my bishop. I take the knight, the e knight with the pawn because later I want to take the mm, bishop with the rook, no, with the pawn and say check. Okay. Oh, if I take the knight uh, because I, I push, takes the bishop. If I take the bishop back with the queen, then he's happy. If I take the knight, takes my queen. Then I take the bishop with check. It doesn't help. So that's not the way to go. Let's do something else. I take the I take the knight with the knight takes with the bishop. Then if I push, it's nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like complicated puzzles. Give me easy puzzles with lots of points. That's my dream puzzle set. I also thought about the crazy move of knight d6. Attacking queen with the knight and giving up the knight. I don't know for what purpose. Maybe one purpose is to release the queen. To join the attack. But... But it cannot join the attack. This is the problem. So if I push the pawn. With bishop takes my bishop. I take it back. With the king for example. Then takes my knight with the knight. Then I, I have nothing. I can take back the knight with the queen. But. Then what else? I, and after that takes my pawn. 
So I even think about pushing the E pawn to close the center a little bit because I have a very good center already and I don't need to rush. But I don't think this is the purpose of puzzle. Mm. Push, takes bishop, take the knight, takes queen, takes the bishop with check, takes it back. No, there is nothing. Another thing I thought about is to first give a check with the knight. Then after grabs my knight with the pawn, I say check with the queen. No, it takes my with the knight. Oh, I was thinking about check at e6 with the queen. It sounds very good check, but unfortunately it doesn't work because I can take it with the knight. What else is weak in this position? Clearly, d6 is the best candidate move, but most likely is not the move to go. So I should find something else, some other weakness in this position. I really seem that it seems that I really cannot find anything weak. Can you spot any weak point here? Help me. Okay, mm, let's do it then. I don't know. I just push or first I take the knight and then push. Or anything else. I don't see any attacker from my side to attack my opponent's pieces. So I push the spawn. Also, I think if I take the knight first, I just uh, help him to uh, play. Yeah, this was another move by instinct. So, now uh, what to do here? Here I thought about various combinations as I discussed earlier with you, like taking the bishop, taking the knight, taking either knight is fine. Or I'd see another new one. I take knight with knight with check. takes then i take the other knight let's do that oh no it wasn't okay the, i didn't deserve this one because i really didn't see it i thought about this little bit and is it winning for black yes it is winning okay mm, i had to uh, i thought about taking the other knight then later i thought maybe it's better to take this knight but then I didn't think about it. Okay. I didn't deserve that point anyways. I didn't deserve it. I was just guessing. So it's fine to lose some points sometimes just because uh, you know that you didn't calculate well. So I like to take the E pawn, say check. But unfortunately it takes with the queen. I also like to push my D pawn. Unfortunately, it takes with the bishop. What else I want to do? Another thing I'd see in this position, another good thing actually, is that if I attack the knight of my opponent, it doesn't have many places to go, right? No, yeah, it has many places to go. Okay, I was thinking about queen d1 and then knight moves. Then I take the g pawn with check, takes with the queen, for example. Or even I take the g pawn with the knight, depends on the situation where the um, white knight is located, whether it is attacking my queen or not. Okay, uh, the plan after all is to place the knight on g4 and exchange it for a bishop on e3. And then push the D pawn. This is the, my general plan. But I believe that's a little bit slow maybe.
What else can I do? Ooh, I can attack the queen. Alright, first I attack the knight. Moves the knight. Then I attack the queen. Yes, I have I have a pawn g6 move. Pawn g6 attacks queen and queen doesn't have many places to go. It can take the f pawn, but then it uh, leaves the uh, king and pre, and I can attack the uh, king with my queen. So let's go. Oh, another mistake. First do this move, then push. Oh, come on. I saw this g6 pawn and you know that. But I thought about different continuation. So what's this? Okay, this two queens versus a king versus a long king. Okay, just move the king somewhere. Two queen versus one queen. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. There is also a pawn on c seven that is going to be a queen soon. So I should be careful here. I shouldn't let him to queen that pawn. So this check is of course important. I couldn't leave my queen from this uh, change. For example, I couldn't play queen e4 to defend the check because queens the pawn. Can it? No, it cannot queen the pawn. Yeah, because I, I, I take the g pawn with the other queen and mate it. But first takes my queen and then after I take it back, queens the pawn. So, queen e4 is not an option. Moving the king is the only option. There are only two possible scores to go, three possible scores to go, f2, d2, and d3. I believe d3 is bad because then has a queen f5 check. Is it? Is it bad? I was thinking uh, he has a queen f5 check. Then after I move the king. Yeah, it it's, mm, seems to be bad. The king d3, queen f5 check. And why f5 is important? Because take care of uh, c8 square. But okay, let's say no, queen f5 check. This time I go where? I go back? No. If I want to go to d2, it's better to go right now. So if after queen f5 check, I go to d2, I'm done. Uh, because he just queens the pawn. Or he even takes my queen. And after I capture back with the king, then queens the pawn. And we are in dead arrow position, like goes for checking forever, perpetual check. So d3 is really bad. d2 is bad with the same reason. Oh, d3 is not really bad. d2 is bad, certainly. Or is not. I don't know. d2 right away maybe is not bad. So d3 says check. If I go back to e3... Repeats the position. If I don't go back to e3, there are two options. D4 and D2. And also there is a very stupid option of C3. But C3 is really bad because queen's the pawn and then everything is falling apart. So D3 I think is bad. So forget about D3. Because eventually uh, the the only possible move for D after D3 is either to go back uh, after check F5 is either to go back to E3, the same position, or go to D4. And D4 is very, is uh, like is an exposed king. It's not somewhere that you want to go. Uh, so if I go to E4, after all it uh, can play it can take my f pawn and say next check. And if I want to let him to do this, I should let him to do it right away. So I should go either to d2 
or F2. Let's say I go to D2 or F2, it doesn't matter, does it? Because wherever I go, uh, takes my F pound with check. My F pound with check, then I have E1. For if I go to F2, I have E1. If I go to D2, I have E1 and D1 and C1. Uh, okay, I don't have C1. I have uh, because it's under check. I have D1 and E1. And what else mm, is happening here? Mm, not sure. Not sure. I'm going back to say maybe D3 is not that catastrophic move. No, D3, check at F5. It always queens and game is very difficult. King, uh, queen, F5, check. And then after that, I go up. I go up D4. Let's be brave. Takes my pawn with check. I go up again. No, I don't go up. I play queen. Yeah, that's the way to go. I play queen e4. Queen e4 against his queen. And then what can he do? Still, queen e4, the goodness about queen e4 is that I still have a mate at g2. So let's do it. Maybe another minus 15. Yes, another minus 13 this time. Solution. Here, here. Okay, I, I have no idea what was this. I mean, okay, now why not here? Because of this, what's wrong with this? Oh, I should have seen this perpetual check like, because I cannot defend it like that because after that queen is coming. So this was a nice perpetual check because if I go there, repeats the position. Oh, sorry, no, it doesn't repeat the position. It checks from here and I have to go either to this position, which we will see why it was bad. So it's check. Oh, it's bad because it just repeats the check, right? Because I go there, it says check, it says check, and then repeats this forever. Because I cannot do something like that, text, text, and then this is a queen. Wow, wow. This was very difficult for me. I couldn't come up with a solution. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments if you could have solved such puzzles. I'm very weak at queens. Uh, even queen and rook is very difficult for me. Queen, two queens is just incredibly difficult. Queen and rook versus, um, versus queen or queen and rook versus another queen and rook or I versus a queen and knight is are very difficult for me. Two queens is crazy because there are lots of options. Okay. So this is uh, looking very easy, <laughs> isn't it? Just check, check, mate. Uh, I mean, uh, queen c3. We are threatening mate at uh, b2 and a1. So has to move the king. There is no option, right? There is no check or no anything. Move the king to c1. That's the only option. Check with the bishop. Move the king back. Because if it comes forward, we will mate it. Move the king back. And then what else? I mean, I can, of course, I can give um, perpetual check. But is this the goal of this puzzle? I can't even I can't even take the a three pawn, and then there is no escape for a king, right? Let's do it, because now I take that pawn with mm, uh, the same threat, or I don't. I just say check with the queen, and then yeah, I take that pawn with checks. 
right? Oh, this is a scissor mate. I check with the bishop and it's a mate. That's beautiful, right? Oh, finally, we got no, something good <laughs> out of it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed from my failure. <laughs> See you next time.